Boyd and Gunnar in the house, back with another bang on video where ladies and gentlemen, breaking news for you guys, finally an update on Lucas Pereira's injury and definitely certain images which, 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 which will actually tell you guys how much, how much, uh, you know, the damage is done. But moving on, Pablo Marie versus Portsmouth, 90 minutes played, 5 clearances, 3 blocked shots, 0 times dribble pass, 100 touches, second most overall. 77 accurate passes, 89 but 5 percentage, 13 out of the 17 long balls. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, David Luiz has heaped price on Pablo Marie's debut. He says, it's great, these kind of things we have to learn. I think we did great tonight. Everybody was 100% focused and we didn't concede. I'm so happy for Pablo. He's a great guy, a great player and he had an amazing game. So we are here to help each other and we are here, 25 players, ready to play, ready to play for Arsenal and ready to give the best job when it's like that it's a pleasure to play football as i will say to the guys especially to these young lads who are starting football well Mikel arteta has insisted that his side need to be lucky with the draw if they want to win the competition he says of course to win any competition you need to be lucky with the draw you need to have luck in certain moments and after you have to look uh, after every detail if you want to win it looks like it could be seven out of the top 10 teams in the next round but let's see what happens let's see what the next draw is but we have another game in the Premier League on Saturday, so let's focus on that. Well, according to the infos, uh, Lucas Torreira's father has confirmed that his son is fine and uh, he can move his ankle. It's just a sprain. Good news for Arsenal fans and thank God we actually made sure that, uh, you know, uh, uh, within 15 minutes we had to withdraw him, uh, Lucas Torreira. And uh, thank you that we could take certain precautionary measures as well. But moving on. Here's what Pablo Marie posted on his Twitter account. He says, on to the next round of Emirates Cup. Happy with the win and my debut for Arsenal. Huge team effort and great support from our fans. Let's go, Gunners. Well, Enketi has the same number of goals at Arsenal like Abraham since the start of December. Enketi's first match was in the middle of January. I'm going to start at the log. Yeah, you're going to love it. You. <laughs> but Arsenal's Premier League minutes per goal involvement rankings. Number one is Thierry Henry with 86 Robin Van Persie has 98. P.A. Amrik Aubameyang is third in the all-time list of 102. Goal involvement rankings unbelievable. Well, moving on. Manchester City could play their postponed home game against Arsenal next Wednesday. Where it looks like uh, the Premier League are in talks with both the clubs in the hope of getting the game played midweek. It will be the first time Mikel Arteta has returned to the Etihad after leaving there to become the new Arsenal manager. Let's see, but for now, Arsenal play West Ham on Saturday, while City have the Manchester derby on Sunday against United. Let's see how things will pan out today. Well, former Arsenal ace Alexis Sanchez must half his current 400k a week wages if he is to make his loan deal at Inter Milan permanent in the summer. He's managed just one goal in 14 appearances for Antonio Conte's side, having picked up a serious ankle injury while on international duty in October. Unbelievable. Inter have agreed to pay just 4.5 million of the former Arsenal man's 21 million annual salary this season. Wow, that's huge, isn't it? But moving on, Henrik Mkhitaryan has revealed how Jose Mourinho once confirmed, confronted him and blamed him for the reason why he gets bad press. He says, once Mourinho saw me at breakfast and said to me, because of you, the press criticizes me. I replied, really, mister? I'm not doing it on purpose. Back in Manchester United, there were paparazzi three days a week. They filmed you as you got into the car, uh, how you were dressed. Once you arrived at the sports center, they were already there. Every step was controlled. He asked whether uh, Mourinho was difficult to work with. He said, yes, I could say yes. He's a winner by nature. He wants you to win and you do what he asks you. Well, Mikel Arteta has praised Pablo Marie's debut against Portsmouth. He says, I think he looked comfortable. He's very vocal. Very comfortable on the ball, always commanding the back four. And he looked like he's played here for months. I think we have a good player. We didn't see the lack of rhythm that he has because he hasn't played in two and a half months, I think. But in general, overall, really happy. Unbelievable. Well, Socrates says, Arsenal have found their new professor in Mikel Arteta. He says, I spoke with the manager and he knows it's not my position. But sometimes we twist with three at the back. We spoke together, but to help the team, I have to do what the manager asks. Uh, I, it does not matter if I play in the middle or right back. I have to give 100%, but I can do better to help them. The manager explains his tactics and how he thinks every day in training and before training. Let's see uh, what will happen. 
Well, minutes per goal uh, across all competitions. Eddie and Ketia, 130. Obamiang, 131. Lacazette, 229. And Ketia's this figures include Leeds, but at Arsenal, his rate is 124. And at Leeds, it, it is 133. The question is, can he keep up with the task well these were the news of the day i hope you enjoyed whatever came your way all the views and news and everything about arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon because when you do that you get two videos about arsenal every single day i will see you in my next video until then cheers